Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another Mornings with Mayish here with Yvonne Ashton. So I'm super excited about today. Have you always wanted a Food Network but for flowers? Well, it's here and it's called Bloom TV. Today, the founder and CEO of Bloom TV, Monica Manley, will be sharing why she started this new streaming network, talking about the episode of Flowers Journey, and what she is planning next. It's going to be an exciting episode, and I hope you guys can join us. If you can't, um, in, or if you have to leave early, that's okay. Make sure that you check out our podcast or all of our video replays that will be available on Facebook and YouTube right away and up on IGTV in a day or two. Um, and by the way, if you didn't get our email about Bloom TV and the episode that we worked with them on called A Flower's Journey, one, you should subscribe to our email. So I'm gonna drop that link for you guys here in the comment section. And two, I wanted to make sure that you heard that you can get one month free of Bloom TV using code Mayish. Super simple. Use Mayish when you subscribe. You'll get one month free. And here is the link to do that. So make sure you guys check that out. Of course, after the live, please. That would be great. Um, also, before we get started, say hello. Let us know where you are from. I always love seeing that kind of stuff. Um, kind of makes my day. <laughs> Uh, and I also want to make sure that you guys know about two things before we get started. One is Mayish Design Star, guys. We are searching for our 2023 stars. Next year, we are going to have four designers do three videos, and we are focusing on sustainability. So if that interests you or you know someone that would be a perfect fit, be sure to help us spread the word um, and fill out that application. I'm dropping the link for that as well. Next and last before we get started is um, just wanted to make sure that you are aware that we're in our third round of our customer appreciation giveaway. Um, and I hope that you've entered. We've teamed up with an amazing marketing agency, Fresh Path Marketing, to give away a total of 20 marketing workshops, you guys, through the end of February. The deadline to enter this next round is December 12th. If you've entered already, you don't have to enter again. Um, and if you are select it as a winner, then you get to select from five different packages to help your business. It's really an amazing opportunity and it's our way to say we love you guys. Um, all right, so we are gonna get started and let me bring on Monica. Hey, Monica. Hi, <laughs> how are you? I'm doing well. I'm just now realizing too, I don't have flowers behind me, which I almost always have right behind me when I do these calls. So I'm I'm slacking today on that end, but I'm so happy to be here and so happy to be talking to you. Well, I'm glad. Well, you have a beautiful plant. I love those those snake plants too. Those are really pretty. And I I have dried flowers behind me. If that makes you feel any better, no fresh today <laughs> either. Um, but anyhow, I'm so glad to have you here today. I'm excited to talk about Bloom TV. But before we get started, for those who may not know you, can you introduce yourself and share about your flower story, which I think is very unique and interesting. Yeah. So I'm Monica Michelle and man, I, you know what? I haven't always been in the world of flowers. It's relatively new to me. Uh, but my journey in this world really started with uh, edible flowers. Uh, so I was at one point a couple of years ago working for a medical company running their marketing and because I was working remotely, I was able to travel a lot at that time. And I spent a lot of time in Paris because, I mean, why not? That is one of my favorite cities in the world to visit. And I just remember I had one trip there where I was sitting down and admiring the pastries in front of me and these side street flower shops that are just everywhere on those streets. And... I was inspired to bring back some of that essence to the U.S. And I thought, you know what, on the side for my girlfriends, when I've got time, I'm going to start baking edible flower desserts. I'm going to start baking fun French style pastries and desserts that have some kind of flower element added into them. And when I got back to the U.S., it wasn't very long after that where I'm letting my friends know at a Friendsgiving uh, that I was going to start doing this when they had birthdays, let me know. And my first client, uh, my first big client ended up being the Oscars. 
So I went from this little dream of baking for my girlfriends to, you know, getting the opportunity to bake all of these desserts and put them in all the dressing rooms at the Oscars that year. So that was really the start of my flower journey. It, it happened out of nowhere. It happened kind of randomly, but it was really fun. <laughs> That is amazing. I love that part of your story because I still can't wrap my head around how you ended up like with the Oscars as your first client. That's just like mind blowing to me. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a wild, wild ride. And I, you know, I was in that that industry for about two years where my, uh, you know, my edible flower desserts, they were all vegan baked pastries. They were doing really well, but there was one problem with that company. I'm not a baker. I love to bake and, but it's not the the kind of business that I was really meant to run. Um, I'm a very digital person. I love to scale businesses uh, quickly. I love to be able to do, com uh, grow companies that can be done from anywhere. And so while I was in this industry, I started looking at how can I start aligning that with what I truly want to do, which is more of a, a digital business. And that's when my business partner and I started saying, well, you know what? We'll make videos on how to create these desserts that everybody loves so much. And then we thought, well, what about the health benefits of edible flowers? We should also do videos covering that. And then we said, well, what about the health benefits, the mental health benefits of having flowers around you and in your home? And it just kind of spiraled into this creative hurricane. And we had the realization that there's a food network, there's an HGTV, but there's no network for flowers. And that was the start of Bloom TV. Yes, I love it. I love that concept. I love your story. When we heard it, I was so excited just to like meet and talk to you. And, and then we decided to work with you. And, and it's been it's been amazing. Um, and can you share with us what your mission is behind Bloom TV? Obviously, you talked about like, well, why not for flowers and, and kind of talking about yeah. the different kind of content that you wanted to put out there. But cool. what is what is your mission? What do you want to accomplish with this? Yeah, so well, I will back up and say at first that this, this business concept we were really excited about, but it wasn't until we really found the mission behind what we were doing and the why behind the business that things really started to take off for, for Bloom TV. And that mission is this idea of restoring Eden. And what I mean by that is whenever I think about Eden, right, we all know the, the story. I think about beauty, just wild beauty. And when I think about that, I truly think about flowers and how, to me, they feel like this gateway to beauty, like no other thing in nature. And so our mission behind Bloom TV is to help people to restore their inner Eden so that they're inspired to restore their outer Eden. So restore their inner Eden through mental health and well-being, through nature aspects and having uh, flowers around them and in their home to inspiring them to bring beauty into their outer world through something as simple as edible flowers in their dishes to uh, biophilic design, bringing nature aspects into their home, all the way to inspiring them to get outside, put their hands in the dirt and bring a bit of beauty to their outer space as well. Yes. Yes. I love it. And let me back up a little bit too, because, um, can you share like exactly what Bloom TV is? Like, yes. what is it? <laughs> yes. So I know I skipped over that part. Yes. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get excited. I get on these, these roles of, uh, of chatting about the vision and everything else. But Bloom TV is a network for all things floral. And our, our goal here is to truly become the food network of the flower world, uh, covering everything from videos, shows, and pilots uh, in series on everything from cooking with edible flowers to flowers for mental health and well-being, videos on how to garden and farm, uh, videos on painting flowers and floral DIYs, uh, all the way to biophilic design and workshops and installations. Uh, and then one of my, oh God, I can't even pick a favorite, but 
one of my, I guess, top kind of choices there too is uh, we have a whole section on florist reality. So like what it's like to manage life as a florist and uh, also spend time with your family. Or we also have some some wedding and event people on there that uh, talk about their journey and how they got started in the industry. And so there's just all sorts of different categories. Um, right now, our, our system and the way that we work is we have people that we call experts. So um, industry professionals, home hobbyists that are incredible DIYers, uh, chefs that work with edible flowers. They all create their own show pilot style uh, videos that are submitted to our site. And from there, we look at our, our top picks and our most watched, the ones that the audience are really loving. And then us, along with our sponsors and partners, uh, will begin creating full shows and series based around some of those most popular concepts. Yeah, that's, that's so cool. So if someone is watching or listening now and thinking, I would love to pitch an idea to Bloom TV, what should they do? Oh my gosh, email me. I, you know, Monica at bloomtvnetwork.com. Let me know. We love hearing ideas. We love collaborations. And for us, it doesn't matter if you're, I, I have to say this because so many companies, I feel like sometimes look at well, how many followers do you have? And we don't care. We, If you've got a good idea and you're open to creating uh, your version of a pilot to house on Bloom TV, we will, we will house it and see how it does on there. So just contact me, let me know, and we'll get you set up. I love it. So it's Monica at bloomtvnetwork.com? Yes, that's okay. right. Let me put that there too. All right. It's out there for the world to find. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, and, you know, you mentioned kind of more of like a reality kind of version of mm -hmm. floristry and kind of what goes into that. And yeah. um, one of the videos that we worked with you on was called um, A Flower's Journey. So mm -hmm. can you talk a little bit about that and the purpose behind this video? And, and obviously who the star is of the series, yes. who is also an amazing designer. Okay. So, I mean, I think, I think a lot of people have heard about Lily Roden at this point. She is an incredible human being. I mean, I have just, I have loved working with this girl. She's incredibly talented, has beautiful design in the florist world. Uh, and she's also, uh, she, she, I think, was born to have a reality show. <laughs> we, uh, she came on as an expert with us on Bloom TV and submitted this mini pilot series, uh, Life and Family as a Florist. Uh, that's a reality style series. And when we put that up there and, and you and I talked, Yvonne, I think everybody immediately fell in love with Lily Roden. So we yeah. thought she would be the perfect person to bring into this video that we did with Mayish. Uh, so a flower's journey is just that this video is all about what a flower has to go through in order to make it to your home. So many people, I think, I, I, I don't think they know the, the journey that a flower really has to take. And when it comes to pricing in the, the floral industry and uh, you know, I get questions around, why is this flower so expensive? Why is this bouquet so expensive? Why would I pay my florist this? And that's why we made this video. We want people to understand that the journey a flower has to take from the farm to the wholesaler, to the florist, to your vase is a very daunting journey. And there's a lot that goes into it, a lot of planning, a lot of care, a lot of, uh, a lot of a lot of different processes and we want people to start to understand that journey and educate people on exactly what goes on behind the scenes so that we can help our florists uh you know with with their pricing and help their clients understand that this is why you know this this flower costs so much or or this is why uh maybe you had to have a, a different flower substituted for your wedding and this is one of the reasons why that might happen. So we're really looking to help the florist and also looking to educate the consumer. Yeah, no, we love, we love that obviously. Cause you know, Pat was part of this episode. <laughs> he like, he was talking with Lily and 
um, it was really great. And, you know, we really love this concept because when we went to Ecuador for our first, you know, inter international workshop, mm -hmm. we got to take like 20 people with us to these flower farms that are there um, as part of the workshop. And they were just in awe kind of seeing what it really takes to grow a flower and like how many different people work on this one stem of flower. Um, and it's, it's just truly amazing and inspiring mm. um, to kind of see that journey firsthand. Um, and like, as soon as we were done with that, they were like, can you make a video of like what this is? And so that way we can share it. And so, yeah, we talked about that with you and, you know, we shared that story, I believe with you and, and your partner. And um, I just think any any kind of way to help educate and just kind of create that transparency um because you don't know what you don't know right like <laughs> or in and a lot of times we're just on you know the other ends of things right like uh us mm -hmm. in the floral industry we're in the coolers and we're just working on putting down putting together the designs we're not really thinking about the journey of the flower um mm -hmm you know, just trying to get through our day. So I think it's good to just kind of take a moment, even if you do know it, just to kind of remember mm -hmm. that. And then again, like helping educate the the clients, the end consumer, the, the people who buy these flowers so that way they can appreciate that even is more than what they already do now. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's really important because I, you know, there were a lot of things on, uh, on, on location that day I actually flew out for that for that shoot and I was really excited to meet Pat I've heard so many beautiful things and then I met him and I was like oh my gosh this, what a good guy and just everybody I met through Mayish was so friendly so welcoming and uh, really excited to to be a part of the the shoot and or not everybody. <laughs> Some people didn't want to be on the on camera. On camera, yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know, it was it was really fun for me too because I'm new to the flower world and my specialty is more on the marketing and media side. And so to be a part of that shoot that day and get to hear everything that flower goes through, it actually changed my mind a little bit too. I was like, wow. I mean, I knew there was a process to it, but wow, the amount of care that goes into a single flower and, you know, to, to ship it across and get it to the U.S. And I mean, so much goes into it. So that was yeah. a big learning experience for me as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I love it. So thank you for, you know, allowing us to be a part of that. It was, it was amazing. And like I said, we're just really excited. Anytime we get the opportunity to kind of help share that side of the story, um, which is really exciting. And, you know, obviously you mentioned like it isn't Bloom TV isn't just about floral design, right? Because that's kind yeah, of what right. I focus on in my content when mm -hmm. we create things. It's all about floral design and, you know, cut flower care, that type of thing. Um, but there's so many other things that are on Bloom TV. Um, right now, do you know like kind of what your most popular content is? Um, oh, my gosh. You know what? We we have such a broad audience right now that we've got a lot of neck and neck pieces of content. Yeah. Uh, our number one right now this month is different every month, it feels like. But our number one this month has been our cooking with flowers channel. And okay. I guess, you know what? And I'm I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, well, you know, the holidays are coming up and I feel like you know, people are kind of starting to dive into that content a little more uh, this month. Uh, but in addition to that, we also have incredible views on our florist reality style content. Uh, we also have another uh, pilot that was submitted recently called Follow the Blooms. And that one's getting a lot of traction right now on our site, which is uh, kind of a reality style uh, shoot where they're following this woman and she's uh, picking up flowers from her local growers. And then she creates these big displays with them in these public locations where they allow photographers and models and, and the public to come in and use that set for days to, you know, take beautiful pictures. And people are really loving to watch that journey as well. So it's just, that probably didn't answer your question, but there's no. just so many neck and necks because it's all so much diverse content on Bloom TV. 
Yeah. Yeah. No, no. I love it. That did answer my question. I think that's great. Um, so guys, if you're thinking about cooking with flowers instead of designing with flowers, you know, make sure you check that out. That would, that would be fun. Um, and I feel like you might've mentioned this like briefly, just talking about your, your favorite piece right now. It's more of the reality stuff. Is that, is that what you mentioned? Oh gosh. See, I knew, I knew that question was coming to you. <laughs> And I had to think about it because I've got a bunch of favorite pieces on Bloom TV right now. I, of course, love the cooking with edible flowers because that's uh, that's how I started in the flower world. Mm -hmm. But I do love the reality style uh, content on Bloom TV. And I think the reason I love that is because it it gives me a sense about the life of a florist or a farmer or um you know, a, a wedding, uh, an events person, it really, it gives me a whole new perspective on that industry. Cause it's, it's, there's a lot that goes into it. And a lot of times people think that, that florists and even flower farmers and, uh, designers all just get to play with flowers all day. And that is not the case. There's so much that goes on. It's a, it's a business and there's a lot that can happen and a lot of, uh, a, a lot of events that can cause you to have to pivot in your business. And it's just really fascinating to, to watch, uh, what goes on behind the scenes in that industry. Yeah, very good. So I'm looking at Bloom TV while you're talking. Sorry for <laughs> multitasking. Um, but when you're saying like, you know, the reality type series, is that listed mm -hmm. under florist life? Is that where they would find yes, there's, those type of uh, episodes? Yes. So there's Lily Rodens on there. And then there's actually another section on there that's, uh, let me think, it's under, there's one video under staging and photography uh, the, the fall of the blooms that's, uh, under that section. Okay. Uh, and then we have Got some it. other really fun content coming in the next, I would say 60 days or so. That's going to be kind of reality style behind the scenes, what it's like to, uh, start a flower shop for the first time. So. Ooh, that'll <laughs> be fun. I'm excited to see that. I think that would be really great because, I think when people say, I want to be a florist, right? And I want to have a flower shop or just a floral business. Yeah. They really think about the glamour piece of it. You know, like hey. I think a lot of people who, who are just kind of coming into the industry, I think people that are already in it kind of understand, but it, it's like the real newbies that were like, okay, this is what I want to do. Um, and then they get there and then, and then they kind of see um, that it isn't very glamorous. <laughs> <laughs> Except at the very, very ends of things. <laughs> um, it's, you know, back breaking really hard work and dirty fingernails and, and buckets and, you know, That's dealing great. with, you know, a team if, if you go that route. And, and yeah, this, it's, it's a lot to think about, I think. So I, I love that. I think this will be amazing. It will be good. And I've, there's also, I, I forgot to mention this piece of content because, and now I'm backtracking because I'm like, oh, wait, I have another favorite that I really like. And it's the uh, Ariana Iapini has a video on Bloom TV and it's flower led, it's garden meditation. So it's called Your Mind as a Garden. And it's these short uh, meditations on there that are just beautiful. I mean, talk about starting your day off right to sit there and listen to her guide you through this, this meditation that's got all these flower and garden references and beautiful visualizations. That's another piece that's fantastic. Oh, I want to check that out. I could use yes. some meditation. <laughs> <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, you know, just, you know, hearing you speak about all the, all the different types of content and, and shows mm -hmm. and things like that, you obviously have put together an amazing variety of experts um, mm -hmm. that includes, I think about 37 floors because I went on and like counted with my finger. Oh, yeah. Very scientific. Um, <laughs> oh, you're, you're one of those people I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. Yes. Um, and, you know, just... Uh, 
how did you decide i'm i'm imagining like when you were first launching this right that you had to reach out to people i feel mm-hmm. like probably now you have people reaching out to you which which is probably yeah. a really good thing to have happen mm-hmm. um but in the beginning how did you decide who you're going to reach out to and like oh my you- gosh yeah. i i basically in the beginning i well let me set the stage for you uh we had no followers on instagram so i looked like a fake account and All I had up was a landing page for the company because we hadn't built the OTT platform and uh, OTT just means over the top entertainment. It's what Netflix is and Hulu. That's how we're built. And so I just had this landing page and then I had, I say no followers, but I probably had 200 followers, Yvonne. I looked like a (laughs) fake account. I did not look like (laughs) legitimate business. And I don't have a personal Instagram or social. So, uh, so yeah, so I was reaching out to people on Instagram, anybody that I saw that were using flowers in some capacity, whether it was in their DIYs or painting or florists or farmers or um, even chefs that didn't use flowers that I thought, oh, they look like they could make some beautiful dishes and I bet they would use flowers in them. I reached out to everybody. And for every 30 people that I reached out to, um, I would get maybe one or two yeses because I didn't look like a legitimate company yet. And so I had all these, I had probably three and a half, four months straight of nothing but phone calls. And I would reach out to people on Instagram and convince them to schedule with me and that I was a legitimate business and not a spam bot. And And then I would spend my days all day long having phone calls and talking about the vision behind Bloom TV and what we were building and that I wanted them to be a part of it. And uh, it was it was a very daunting journey in the beginning because we didn't have anything to show anyone. We couldn't tell people we didn't have examples to show people of, you know, what we were building and who we are, who we were. And uh, so that was hard. But now fast forward and it's been uh, nine months since we officially launched the OTT to the to the public. Uh, January 20th of this year was when we turned that baby on. And now we have submissions almost every week of people that want to be involved or have a pilot or a series or a, um, yeah, so some kind of idea there and want to be involved in some capacity. So it's gotten a lot easier <laughs> from that side. Awesome. That is amazing. Um, very, very exciting. So when, when you get these submissions, like mm. uh, what is the process? Like what do people like have to do on their end to kind of make things work? Can we talk a little bit about that? I wasn't planning for on asking sure. you that, but that just kind of popped in my head. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So our process is they usually, when they reach out, we send them information, uh, a packet on how we work with experts, Uh, what the process is like, what kind of submissions we ask for. And, uh, and then they, when they have their first video complete, they send it to us and we review it. And uh, if it's approved, it goes up on the site. Now, in the last, in the, in the beginning, in the last like six months or so, our process has been a little bit different than what it's becoming now, because now we're starting to uh, now that we're <laughs> we're building up um, as a company and growing, our standards are changing a little bit because now everything has to be uh, well done so that it looks good on your your smart devices and TVs. Uh, it has to uh, be a certain time length. And what we're asking now is in the past, we were letting people submit uh, workshop style tutorials and Uh, fun. This is how you build a bouquet. And now that's shifting a bit because now we've got that content on the site and now we're asking for pilot submissions and they can film this themselves. They can work with us and we can help them with uh, getting an intern at their local college to help them shoot and film it. We can sit down with our team and help them storyboard out what that, what that first pilot episode would look like. And then from there, when it's housed on our site, We start looking at the data coming in and who's watching what, what's doing really well. And then also, what do our partners and sponsors like? What are they drawn to? 
And uh, then we can begin the process of taking those top performers and bringing them to life with a full show. And um, we're very much in that process right now and have a lot of fun projects going. Uh, and we're also uh, in, in the business side of things. We, for the first time, uh, started fundraising for Bloom TV. And so at the beginning or the very end of this year, um, we will be bringing in a lot of staff uh, to help us uh, not only will we have contractors that can go out and film different series, but we'll have full and staff uh, team that can film and produce a lot more stuff a lot quicker. That's so exciting. Yeah. So lots of, lots of developments, but uh, I feel like that was a bit of a ramble. I just kept going, but there's so much to it. And now where we do take submissions from whoever wants to come and play and test it out uh, but yeah, it's it's changed a bit, and we are asking for pilot style submissions going forward. Very good, very good. You you obviously talked about you know kind of some plans to grow your team and have staff and things like that. Do you have any other exciting projects that are you know coming oh up? Oh my gosh, yes. Uh, so we recently partnered with PBS Twelve. And we're very excited about that. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. Uh, so we are beginning to work on some kids content. And I'm personally really excited about this because, well, I can't say it enough. This Bloom TV is not just for florists or professionals in the industry. It is for consumers. It's for home hobbyists. It's for people who just love watching other people play with flowers and the goal is to not only give professionals in the industry a platform to stand on, but change the way that people see the industry as a whole and inspire that next generation of, of whatever it is, painters, chefs, florists, gardeners, and just really provide like education and entertainment like never before. That's really fun for everybody to watch. And so I'm really excited about the kids content. And we're starting to really work on that now and make that a big goal for 2023 is to start releasing kids content. And it's going to include a little bit of everything. We hope that uh, we'll, we'll have content that will be very inspiring for kids to get their hands in the dirt and want to garden and want to play with flowers um, all the way to fun, natural DIYs that you can create from your own backyard with your kids. And um, so I'm personally really excited about that to add a kids section to Bloom TV. Um, there's a lot of projects going, but that's probably my most exciting one. I think. Yeah, that's, that's very exciting. Congrats on PBS. That's huge. Um, yeah. And yeah, anything that can kind of help kids, um, kind of look at flowers in a different way, right? Yeah. I think I think that's really exciting and will help kind of nurture and kind of create more people enjoying more flowers. And I think that yeah. at the end of the day is what we all want, um, yeah. kind of just to help raise that bar in our industry. I think that's amazing. So congratulations. Thank you. That's so exciting. And, you know, we talked about this a little bit, Yvonne, but it's we when we talk about and we make this comparison to Food Network and yep. then Bloom TV, it's you know, God, we're there's there's so there's so much inspiration that can come from storytelling, and that's what we want to do. We want to tell stories in all different ways and all different lights around this industry, so that people become immersed into this world and appreciate the industry even more or maybe are inspired to you know buy flowers more often for their home I mean there's just so many fun ways to to play in this world so many untapped stories yeah exactly exactly so mm -hmm. I did want to bring up a little controversial comment that I saw when I was posting yeah. about Bloom TV um, mm -hmm. and I actually see this type of con comment like once in a while mm -hmm. on our own content that we create people sometimes are not happy that we are sharing kind of behind the scenes how to mm -hmm. do floral design they think that is actually hurting the local florist 
Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, Mayish at Mayish, we don't we don't believe in that. Um, but mm -hmm. I just wanted to hear from you on kind of what you would. What are your thoughts around that? Well, so one, I have to say, a scarcity mindset will never survive. We, I think, when you live in a very abundant state and can be excited about community and education. All, you know, a rising tide raises all ships. I think when it comes to, you know, well, one, there's so much information out there. You can go on YouTube, you can find everything nowadays. So right. I love education and I love, I, I behind Bloom TV, there's this, there's this beautiful storytelling that brings in more than just the florist. It brings in more than the industry professional. It's bringing in consumers. It's bringing in home hobbyists and it's bringing them in for a reason. Like people want to know what goes on behind the scenes. They want to sometimes they don't even want to learn how to how to make a bouquet. They just love watching the process of this beautiful bouquet coming together. And I think on that side of things where it's like Food Network. And I, I love using that that reference. I'm going to keep using it. I don't care. Yes. I, it's like Food Network. We want to do for the industry what Food Network did for chefs and the food industry. It didn't put chefs out of business. It inspired a whole new generation of chefs. And it also inspired a whole new uh, generation of people who really appreciated food in a whole new way. And now people are, you know, uh, searching out for the best restaurants or they want to find those featured spots that were, were shown on that show that they can go to and try out. And we want to do the same thing. We want to help bring this industry into a whole new view. We want to create the next stars of the floral world um, so that they can be on a platform where people can see them all over the world and start to appreciate their style and their craft and what goes into the company. And at the same time, we want to bring in this whole new generation of viewers who start to appreciate the flower and want that in their home all the time. So what we're doing will not hurt this industry. I can promise you that it's yeah. only going to help this industry. It's going to help the professionals in the industry. It's going to help uh, the consumers understand the kind of work that goes into creating a bouquet or having a business like this. And I, I think it's only going to inspire more beauty and, encourage people to have more flowers around them and in their world. Yeah. Yeah. And I love that in all different aspects of their life, like you were mentioning, like whether it's with their food or just starting their own garden or, you know, having a craft with their kids to do, you know, in the mm -hmm. summer, I think, I think that's really amazing. And um, it's just really special and something completely different um, than what we've ever seen done before. So yeah. I wish you so much success with this um, and you're going to have to come back on and just give us updates on how everything is going and maybe we can have, you know, Lillian or someone else and yes. uh, yeah, just keep the conversation going because I do think it's important. I think what you're doing is just, again, really amazing, very important. And it goes along kind of, you know, with what Cal Flowers is trying to do with that flower feeling, you know, mm -hmm. where they're, they we just want more people enjoying more flowers. And however that is, that helps again, rise everyone to the, you know, to the top and rise the bar for our industry. And, and I think that that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think there's, there's so much, oh, there's so much beauty and collaboration too. And we found that yes. there's been, I'll, I'll add to that with, you know, we have a lot of experts that have joined us and have created their own, show pilots or video tutorials or workshops or whatever. And I had in the past, uh, some people were a little worried and said, Oh my God, well, you know, what if, what if we're on here and we're, we're sending people to watch our stuff on Bloom TV, but then they start watching somebody else's stuff and then they like their style. And, 
And I'm like, well, that's great because then you're going to have the inflow of all these, you know, all these people that are drawn to different personalities, drawn to different styles. And what's beautiful about that is it gives you so much room to collaborate and to grow. And what we found now, fast forward, is so many of our experts work together and are collaborating. Um, we have a workshop coming up even for for Halloween. Uh, that's a Halloween DIY workshop. And we've got, I think, seven experts that are all coming together for this one workshop to each show a little bit of their craft and like 10 minute fun DIY tutorials. And they're having so much fun with it because now they've they've opened up their world um, and it have have brought their audience to to meet other professionals in the industry. And it only helps the industry as a whole. So it's a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, very, very cool. Yeah, I saw, do you want to talk about your Halloween contest thing that you have going on? Yes. Uh, so right now we're doing a Halloween, a spooky Halloween floral filled contest. And the winner, uh, there's a first, second and third prize. Uh, but the winner of first place gets a thousand dollar cash prize, uh, plus a, uh, let me think, I believe a six month subscription to details and, uh, a bouquet of flowers and a year's gift card to bloom TV. Second place is $500 and third place is 250, but we are opening that up to everybody. We want everybody to come and play. Uh, the all you have to do is create a video tutorial of how you're uh, putting together this fun spooky flower uh, creation, and then we'll house it on Bloom TV, and we'll open up a page for people to come and vote on their favorites, and uh, then we'll be giving out prizes on Halloween. Uh, but this is going to be really fun because there's several categories. So there's floral design. Uh, of course. And then there's a DIY and art um, section. Uh, we're even opening it up to spooky, you know, fun DIY decor or tablescapes. So the possibilities oh, or recipes. So the possibilities are endless. We just ask that you use some kind of flower component in whatever you're creating. Deadline to submit is October 12th. October 12th, guys. <laughs> I know we got some really creative people listening and watching. So yeah, have fun with that. I And again, just have fun this year. That's kind of been my, my, I've talked about it a little bit. It's kind of been our theme for, I feel like this whole year is fun because mm -hmm. everything, everyone's gone through so much mm -hmm. um, and we just want to have fun with everyone. So I, I saw this and I thought mm -hmm. that was fun and uh, mm -hmm. just wanted to make sure that everyone heard about that. So I hope you guys participate. Let me know. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for bringing that up. I would have forgot to mention it, but that's it's going to be a really cool competition. So definitely get involved. Awesome. Awesome. And then again, as a friendly reminder, if you guys use uh, the code Mayish, you'll get um, one 30 days, one month free mm -hmm. of uh, Bloom TV. And uh, hopefully you guys check it out. Let me know. Uh, it's a good way to just, you know, dive in there and check things out, see um, what you like. And and also, you know, maybe get inspired and, and submit an idea to Monica. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would, I would love that. Those are some of my favorite conversations is when people, you know, have an idea or want to talk through this fun pilot concept. So please email me. I love those conversations. Awesome. Good, good, good. Well, Monica Michelle, thank you so, so very much for coming on with me today. I so appreciate it. I love what you were doing and love that we got to participate a little bit in, in what you're doing as well. Um, that's Remy. He's saying goodbye to, and he's barking at the, the, bulk pickup today which is outside my window right now as i'm ending the show of course um and yeah that's a wrap thank you guys for listening i hope you enjoyed the show stay tuned for our next episode probably coming up in a couple of weeks and i will see you all soon take care bye everyone Amazing. thanks bye <laughs>